everybody, welcome back to Unapologetic Skincare and Beauty and I'm Stephanie. Today is going to be my very first Boxy Charm unboxing. As you know, if you've seen my unboxing videos, I've recently canceled Birchbox and I went ahead and got Boxy Charm instead since I've heard such good things and Birchbox has been such a letdown for me. Sorry if you hear like kids music playing in the background, it is because it's summer vacation and the kids are all here. <laughs> so anyways, we're gonna get right into the video. So usually I unbox everything and kind of try it out before I show it to you guys on camera, but this month, because it's my first birch box and I wanted to give you guys an actual reaction of what I'm seeing and thinking when I open this birch box, I decided to go ahead and open it on camera so you guys can see firsthand how I feel about it. Let me know if you prefer this way better, me unboxing on camera, or if you prefer me unboxing and trying out and then giving you kind of my first impressions on the products. But either way, in the comments, just let me know which one you like better. So let's get right in. Here's the birch box. Ha! I called it birch box. Here's the boxy charm box. It came yesterday. I'm not sure what's going on. I feel like it's the middle of the month. It's like July 18th and I don't have my Ipsy bag yet. I don't have my Sephora play bag yet and this just came yesterday. I don't know why I'm getting them so late lately. I feel like I used to get them in the first week or at least the first week and a half in the month and now I'm just getting them you know when the month's almost over so that's a little annoying but here is the box. I haven't opened it yet right away just shaking it it's the same size as a birch box would be yet when i shake it i don't hear any rattling like i would with birch box because birch box is full of these little teeny teeny tiny samples and boxy charm is supposed to have five to six full size samples this is 21 dollars a month whereas birch box is only 10 but if i'm getting full size samples as opposed to little teeny tiny samples that are not even fully full fully full that aren't even full half the time I will more than happily pay the extra money. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see me. I'm gonna pop this open and then we'll get right into it. All right, so I have a knife. I don't have box cutters or anything. I'm not fancy. Slice it open, easy peasy. Oh, it's so pretty. So that's what it looks like. It has, you know, a little black and white boxy charm logo on the front and this is basically, is it gonna tell me what's in here? Oh, it is, I'm not gonna look, I don't wanna ruin it. But basically it tells you what's in here and it tells you kind of what the theme of the month is and this theme this month is road tripping. Road tripping, because apparently people who don't have children go on road trips in the summer, or jobs. And underneath that there's basically like a foam thing, I think to protect the products. And so I'm gonna open that up and the first thing I pull out is, the Note Luminous Silk Compact Blusher. Ooh, blush, I love blush. So here's the box itself, all black. It has the Note, the word Note on the side because that's the brand. And my color is 05 Desert Rose. Ooh. Should I zoom back in so you, like we're closer together? Let's do it. Oh, hey. Oh, I'm so bad with opening boxes. Look, I'm just like ripping it apart. I don't, you know, try to get in there gently. I'm just ripping it apart. Ugh. So here's the packaging. My face is a blush. It perfectly covered my entire face. Now it's black, it feels pretty sturdy, it doesn't feel cheap or anything. And then inside, ew. Well, hello. So I love this because I really like this color. It's like a peachy pink sort of, and that's really flattering on me. And it has a mirror, which which is awesome. I love any compacts that have mirrors. I love this. It feels like there's something else in there though. Am I missing something? Is there something else in here? Oh! <gasps> Alright, so when you, ha when you have this, you can lift it up and then there's a little brush inside. So that is cool. Although, it does make me a little like, eh, because here it looks like there's like a big blush, right? And then you get in and you're like, no, that's all the blush you're getting. That's not like a huge, that's not like a full size to me. It's not a full size product to me. But, all right, I'm reaching in again, and I think it's lip gloss? Nope. This is the Wander Beauty Unleashed Volume and Curl Mascara. So this is what it looks like. It does look like a lip gloss, right? I'm not crazy. And then, ooh, so I do like the wand. And it looks like it's just, you know, your standard issue black mascara, which 
I'm into and happy about it. I like it. I'll use it. I love mascara. I'll take any and all mascara you will give me. All right, what's next? Another thing that feels like a lip gloss, but is not. This is the Dr. Brandt Needless No More. Oh, a needless no more. This is the Dr. Brandt Needles No More No More Baggage Eye Depuffing Gel. This is what the package looks like. Pretty standard. I love Dr. Brandt products. I love their skincare products. They're a really good skincare company, and this is supposed to depuff your eyes. So. That's awesome, I'll take it. I'm on the lookout for an under eye sort of serum cream, whatever, that can make me look less tired because I don't get enough sleep. Currently I'm using the Ordinary's Caffeine Solution for under the eyes, but I'm open to it, try something else out, and we'll see at the end of the video what all these full size products are supposedly worth and if it makes up for what we paid for the box. All right, what's next? I don't even know what this is. I've never heard of this company before, but I think it's pronounced Chila, and it's the Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. So it's an eyebrow cream, I guess. All right, so I'm gonna show it to you. So here it is. And then you open it up, and I don't understand though. It doesn't have like a color, I'm so confused. Are you supposed to twist it? Oh wait, hold on, there's another side. Oh, no, I don't understand. Maybe you're supposed to dip it in here? Maybe? I'm super confused, but not like overly happy with it because taupe for my eyebrows? Like I have dark eyebrows. Taupe is not a dark color. Am I wrong about this product? I'm probably gonna have to look into it later when we read the card and see what this all is, but. I'm not super happy about it because I don't know what an eyebrow gel is and apparently, you know, there's like nothing on here so I think I have to dip it into that bottom part but that's a lot of work. All right, what is next? Ooh, a palette. Is that all that's in here? Okay, that's all that's in here so it looks like we got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five things this month. So this is a, what looks to be an eyeshadow palette which I have a little bit of an addiction to eyeshadow palettes. Ugh. This is the Crown, wait, Pro Crown or Crown Pro? It's either the Pro Crown or the Crown Pro, not sure which, but it looks like this. It's crown, but then there's Pro over here, so I don't know if it's Pro Crown or Crown Pro. One of those. Um, so let's open up this box. Oh, see, I'm destroying the box. Okay, here we go. This is the palette that's inside the box. This is the first time I'm opening it. I'm opening it for you guys here. What's it look like? Tell me. Is it good? Aiden says, yeah. So here's my first thoughts about this. I like that it has a mirror in it. You know I'm a big fan of mirrors in compacts, in eyeshadow palettes. So it's got a nice little mirror here. The colors are okay. You know, pinks, mauves, some purples. It looks like it would be a really good fall eyeshadow palette. And there's this nice little white color here for like a brow bone. So, I mean, I'm down. Let's do some swatches quick, huh? Okay, that white is not really pigmented, but okay. Not a ton of pigment in this, and there's a lot of fallout, but oh, here we go. Here we got a couple colors that we got some pigment. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ugh. Like no clean fingers. All right, so these last colors have some pigment in them. Let me show you. So here is, and you probably can't see it because it's the brow bone color, but that's the brow bone color. And then it goes over one, two, three, four. So there was a lot of fallout here and a little bit here, but overall nice. So that's the way it goes. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Not too shabby. Let me quickly rinse my fingers off. All right, and then we'll do the bottom row on this arm because this arm is still <laughs> swat. So let's start here. I'll use my thumb, which is weird. I feel like a lot of these colors look the same as the other colors, but, oops, that was not a good swatch, guys, I'm so sorry. 
<laughs> I'm so bad at doing this with my left hand. So that's from left to right in the palette. <laughs> I look like a, Aiden said I look like a tiger. So I don't know if that helps, but that's for the bottom row. And that's what you're looking at. They're okay. I mean, they're they're okay. I could use this. I, I'd be able to use these just fine. Um, I don't know how they're going to perform on the eyes. I like the top row a little bit better because it's more my color scheme, whereas the bottom row is a little, like, muddy looking and kind of, like, darker than I like to go. But we're going to give it a try. And, I mean... I've seen a lot of other BoxyCharm reviews from previous months, and I think they got way better stuff. So as my first BoxyCharm, I'm not super pumped, and I'm a little tiny bit disappointed, but I'm going to give them another chance or another couple of chances and see if the, you know, the products improve. We're not savages here. We're going to give you a couple opportunities, right? Now, let's go in here and see what everything costs full price. So I'm literally getting eyeshadow all over everything. Let's get my calculator open. Remember, I paid $21 for the box, so let's see what everything is worth. So the Dr. Brandt No More Baggage. First of all, it says, say goodbye to Puffy and say hello to youthful, rested-looking eyes with Dr. Brandt's No More Baggage ID Puffing Gel. Formulated with biometric technology, peptides, and botanical, botanical, botanical extracts, you are guaranteed visibly reduced under eye bags and dark circles. I'll let you know how that works. So that's $42 full size. That's so expensive. They're saying this too. So they're saying this tube cost $42? That's a little crazy to me. I would never pay $42 for that. Okay, then the eyeshadow palette, the Crown Brush Fuego Eyeshadow Collection. Made up of rich, warm toned shades, this creamy, high pigmented palette gives you exactly what you need to create infinite, flawless eye looks. Infinite looks? Come on. Four shimmer shades perfectly complement the six matte shades, making this palette, making this the palette for all your glam hashtag goals. And that is $29.99. Wander Beauty. Oh, $29.99. Okay, let's add that. $29.99. And uh, Wander Beauty Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. This award-winning black and intensely glossy mascara will bring your lashes to new heights. Literally. The Unlashed Mascara volumizes, lengthens, strengthens, and conditions your lashes while using a combination of gentle ingredients. And that is $24, so $24 plus. And then we've got the Note Cosmetics Luminous Silk Compact Blusher. Designed to work for all your skin types, this luminous paraben-free blush adds natural color to your cheeks while preventing dryness with its argan oil-infused formula. That's interesting, I like that. Built-in brush and mirror makes this little compact a three-in-one treat, perfect for the charmer on the go. And that's $11.99. And then we got the Chella Beauty Eyebrow Cream. Add some wow to your brows. This innovative eyebrow cream effortlessly defines and shapes your eyebrows with its creamy consistency and built-in brush. This velvet-like formula makes blending easily, then sets, gives you perfect brows that last all day and night. I don't know about this, guys. Okay, so that's $26. So either way, I've got $133.98 as a total. We paid $21 for the box and we got $133.98 worth of stuff in this box. That's not too shabby. Especially if the eye gel and the eyebrow cream turn out not to be duds. You know, I love eyeshadow palettes, so I, I'm always gonna find something to do with eyeshadow palettes, so I'm happy to have it. But just with that palette, we got our money back and everything else was basically a bonus, right? Yes. Well, first month of BoxyCharm, uh, like a 6 on the out of 10 scale, but we're going to see what happens next month. If you guys like this, please comment. Let me know what you liked. Let me know if you want to see this sort of unboxing in the future. And please go ahead and subscribe so you can see me more often. Stay kind and stay beautiful, and I'll see you next time. Mwah!